Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns, and we are about to find out whether our torpedo ships are any good. So, we have just entered the battle over here in the Battle of Honolulu, just off the coast of Pearl Harbor, with our screening group mostly being made up of torpedo cruisers and a couple of heavy ships against a big American battle fleet. Our forces are somewhat evenly matched up, I would argue. So three battleships on their side, three battle cruisers on our side, three heavy cruisers on our side, three two heavy cruisers on their side, two carriers each, and about the same number of light ships, even though ours are potentially more devastating against their heavy ships. And that does include the pride of the fleet, which is probably going to be the Arizona or the Pennsylvania, I don't actually know. Um, and yeah, we are going to have to see what we can do. Some of their ships are already a little bit damaged. Oklahoma 20% damaged. And the Enterprise about a third damaged. On the other hand, we have suffered a little bit of smaller damage. We are very much on ahead in torpedoes, although they do also have some. And for some reason, our screening efficiency is not even quite as high as theirs. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but yeah, there we go. Uh, we also can see that we do have, we outmatch them a little bit in heavy guns and quite significantly in, in light guns actually, so we do need to see what's going to happen here. Our AA is a little bit better, uh, but their depth charges are significantly better. We also have a second fleet coming up from over here, accompanying some of our marines that are currently trying to land in that area. And they have been bombed by American and British sh aircraft, actually, close air support and naval bombers. We shot down 17 of their aircraft, but they did conduct some damage on us, including damage on the Yamashiro, which I do believe must be a battleship, isn't it? Yamashiro? Yes. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. There's also some damage being done down here on uh, some of our light cruisers and heavy cruisers, so that's okay. Let's also make sure to briefly check on these heavy cruisers then and see you're in asked to engage at medium risk. And you do include quite a couple of the Hawakazi class, which is very... No, these are all torpedo cruisers, aren't they? Aren't you? What exactly are you? Yeah. You, you are torpedo cruisers, so you know what? Let's engage at high risk. That might mean these guys are joining up this battle, and that should be very interesting. Okay, so we are very interested in this result, so let's uh, style down on the timing over here and see what's going to happen. So, we want to go th through this hour by hour and see whether we can do enough damage with our torpedoes. So, first hour, heavy gun damage already on the Oklahoma, but the Oklahoma was damaged before, so that doesn't really count. So, yeah, not much damage on these heavy ships, that is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe some damage on these smaller ships? No, only really on one destroyer, so really not that important. On the other hand, we are getting some heavy damage guns. Really? We we damaged one of their destroyers with heavy guns, so that's interesting. Light guns, light guns. Still, most of their ships are doing remarkably fine. They haven't really suffered any damage. We are suffering some damage over here, mostly from light guns, though. We have not been hit by any torpedoes, nor have they. Although torpedoes only really work every fourth hour, as I think we know. So there we go. You can see the Bar Baker Barker has been sunk by torpedoes. And most importantly, the Minneapolis has been sunk right away by torpedoes. So, and that is, I think, the fourth hour of the battle. So that's pretty interesting to see that we did manage to score a torpedo hit over here. And it immediately sank an enemy heavy cruiser. And I, I think it was one that wasn't damaged even. On the other hand, you can see that torpedo damage is a little bit of all or nothing. So either we are conducting, uh, either we are doing damage, and it's Im immediately sinking a ship, or we are not. Okay, more damage on their screens, which is good for us. Obviously, they are not yet trying to withdraw, and that's good for us. We are suffering a little bit of damage on some of our torpedo ships, but it's not that dramatic. And we are suffering some damage on our heavy ships, but again, it's not that dramatic. And I do expect that at 1800, 
we're probably going to see more damage from our torpedoes. So let's see whether that is true. So more of these light, uh, more of these destroyers being sunk, mostly from light damage. But now we should see again, maybe potentially some torpedo damage. Yes, you can see the USS Pennsylvania has been receiving quite a lot of torpedo damage, actually. 300 torpedo damage there. That's pretty good, and it's now down to 8.4 strength. So even, even if it would get sunk by heavy, uh, by heavy gunfire soon, I, I would credit the the torpedoes with doing most of the damage. And actually, the users in Indianapolis has also suffered some torpedo damage. And that's not quite as drastic. Yeah, and they are now trying to retreat. I do hope that that we can capture a cu couple more enemies. Oh, also, they have been reinforced, haven't they? I mean, these are more battleships now than they were before, and we definitely see more cruisers. I don't think we've seen the Essex before. So, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Still, we are doing quite a lot of damage, especially against these destroyers. But I would really like to see some heavy ships go down on their side. Ooh, even one of our... Even one of our Submarines has now engaged, so that, that's interesting. And there we go. USS Oklahoma sunk. Mostly by torpedoes. 80% of the damage has been done by torpedo. USS Pennsylvania sunk. Again, all damage done by torpedoes. USS Colorado sunk. Most of the damage being done by torpedoes. A little bit damaged even by naval bombers, so that's interesting to see. Have we seen any damage on any of these carriers? Yeah, just a little by naval bombers. That's okay. And again, some damage here by torpedoes on the Indianapolis as well. USS Arizona has so far not received any damage, but again, you can see it's due to the screening efficiency dropping down. And right now, where, where is it? The Which one was it? I think the Arizona, was it? I don't know. So yeah, brilliant result over here. Brilliant result. Actually, you can see the moment that their screens are being <laughs> the the moments the the moment that they lose screens, we're just sinking them time after time, and sinking that many ships. What a result, guys! What a result! This is <laughs> this is not it. This is it. So we have lost a fighter and a bomber. They have lost three carriers, four battleships, two heavy cruisers. One light cruiser, 28 destroyers, and 6 fighters. And most of these guys have really been sunk by torpedoes, I guess. You can see a lot of our torpedo cruisers. So this one doing a lot of damage on some of these heavy ships. Uses Pennsylvania, a battleship, 91% damage just from a torpedo cruiser. This was one of our normal cruisers, I believe, or heavy cruisers. But again, a torpedo cruiser doing... 80% of damage. Lansdale, that does sound like a destroyer potentially though. Okay. Still, I'm 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 over the moon about the result, obviously. Uh, and we've been doing extremely great over here uh, with our aircraft uh, with our ships. So, uh, let's briefly check on whether we have suffered any significant damage. It doesn't even look like we've suffered significant damage. Some some ships have been do damaged a little bit. It's really not that dramatic. Only the Mikuma I would call damaged at all at 68%. Yeah, and maybe the Akazi. So you know what? Let's send the Akazi home and let's send the Mikuma home. You guys can repair and that's going to be fine and, and dandy. We are also attacking into Pearl Harbor and it appears like the Americans have quite a lot of forces over here. Uh, way more than we anticipated and potentially they'll be yeah they'll be outmatching us dramatically didn't we send four divisions in though i thought we did oh we did send two i think on another island is that the case where are you guys going looking over there well that's a little bit unfortunate i have to say no you want our reward that's extremely unfortunate actually because they'll be able to devastate us over there. Well, at the most we are losing two divisions of, of marines. Which is extremely unfortunate. But on the other hand... 
I think that can be done to stop this now. Could land on the other islands, but again, we would actually need a naval harbor to replenish our forces. Yeah, so we are suffering pretty badly over here. The Americans have so many troops over here. So the best that we can do is probably capture this island and start to build up a naval base right away. Of course, our construction is severely hampered uh, by the fact that we do need some reconstruction material of, or some of our factories are bound by... We can actually accelerate time slightly here. Let's go slow, but not super slow. Okay, unread naval battle result over here. USS Tennessee sunk by what? Submarines? That's nice. I didn't even know you were here. Brilliant, brilliant. Good result. Someone is suffering from low supply. There we go. So you've captured this area. Uh, can you reappear now? Okay. Great. Okay, let's try to attack into there. And let's actually build up a harbor over here. And do so with the highest priority. Even then, I think it's going to take probably a month or so to be actually building up that up. A 14th of April, yeah, so, so that is a month. Okay, how likely are you to reinforce? 7%. Well, you've, you've just come in, that's good. 300%. We were damaged a little bit over here. Naval battle. Oh, okay. So they have attacked with aircraft. And we haven't really shot down any anyone. And they have conducted quite a bit of damage on us. So again, not that great. Yeah, and you know what? You guys need to stay over here for a second. And then these marines can withdraw. That's unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. And that we are suffering quite a bit from the enemy air presence over here, though. So let's think about what we can do over here. We have 400 airbase over here. We have way too many aircraft stationed over here. And you were actually bombing these guys. Okay, let's stop you with the port strikes. And continue to do normal air attacks. That should be okay. Good. Yeah, so we are bringing in forces over there. But potentially we should be withdrawing some of our forces as well. Specifically you guys. I think are suffering a little bit too much over here. So let's withdraw from the Hawaiian Ridge for a second. And who else is patrolling? The torpedo boats are. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. You don't need to watch this area. Over here should be fine. And that's okay. Americans lost an uh, aircraft. But again, they are doing so much damage on us. I don't think that's that worthwhile. And we are now being attacked over here. We're easily, easily out, out damaging them. But at some point we'll be low on, on supply. There we go. And now it really starts to hurt. More American aircraft being shot down. That's good. But also we are suffering quite some damage over here. So you know what? Let's actually withdraw our main forces. I think we've done a fabulous job over here. But we need to withdraw for a second. Being attacked again, but just by one infantry. So that really should not be able to do too much against us. But we are being engaged over here. So more and more aircraft. And we are seeing some damage. So 40.5, 20% even off Huju. I don't know what that is. Huju. Is that a light cruiser? Who's suffering damage over here? Ooh, that's actually our aircraft carriers. That's no good. That's not nice. Where are our ships? They should be close to getting out, shouldn't they? Even Yamashiro is taking quite a lot of damage. 
Nagato as well. Yeah, so they are becoming extremely effective over here. I don't really like to see that. Okay, so... Okay, Kido Butai. Don't be over here. In Micronesia. Get over here. Just get into harbor, please. Where are you? You're not supposed to do this. Okay, get into harbor. There we go. First heavy scout force. You're not doing anything. You can get, actually get into truck where we have a slightly larger naval base. Good. We have two mine lane groups. Mine lane is fine. We do have two submarine groups. Submarines are fine. There's a fight over here with an uh, American light cruiser. And some of our submarines. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Okay, naval combat over here. Okay, so that's just the light cruiser, which is trying to engage anyway. Disengage anyway. Okay, and you guys should actually get back towards the Johnson Atoll. Okay, fine. Like that. Good. So, the most important thing again is building up this harbor. It's gonna take a while. And very soon we will discover that we will need to build up quite a lot of our forces or rebuild them. So, heavy fires. So, let's look at that. Yeah, that is all of the damage that we were suffering actually from their naval attacks. Air naval attacks. Oh, that's that's rough. That's a lot. Okay. Let's simply repair everything. I think that's fine. Needs to be done. Okay. Let's look at production. Still, all in all, a great win. Some of these things are going to go very, very quickly. Though, so that's fine. Just a couple of days, really, uh, on many of these things. Maybe a month or so on, on the Huyu. On the Marshall Islands, you seem to be taking a little bit longer. But again, just with three days, I don't think it's even worthwhile sending to, to you to Tokyo or something. We are spending quite a bit of our naval capacity on that, but that's fine. These things d down here are somewhat overflow capacity anyway. And yeah, our heavy sh our fires here should also stop as soon as that has finished. And there we go. We are now re really producing uh, or really regaining some of these things. So that's fine. Yeah, th this here up here is, I think, the most important one. The in the Marshall Islands, uh, we are suffering a little bit. So this this naval base here is is really not that strong. It's not strong enough to. Conduct all of these repairs at the same time. Still, some of them are so 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 small in terms of the repair that I do think it's fine to do it like such. Well, what we could do is send you up to some of these other. It doesn't doesn't matter. It's not that important. Okay, so all in all, that should now drop these quees down. Yeah, and you are capable of repairing three ships at the same time. Although I wonder whether it really should be only one. Justification is finished, so that's nice. That's on the land side over here, so on Xiangxi. Let's declare the war. Conquer. Call in allies. There it goes. Send. It's fine. And you should be able to do that anyway. He has joined the allies. Come on, just just get the capital, please. Don't don't fuzz around. Don't do this to me. Good. So, naval combat in the Hawaiian Ridge. Ooh, they're suffering. They're destroying our submarines and light cruisers. And we do have some naval battles down here. Okay, so I actually think we do need to pull out all of our forces from over here. As sad as that is, let's actually send you guys over here. That's fine. And then what else have we got down here? Just the mine layers. 
and the mining group we can withdraw and put into the Micronesian gap. Good. Okay. So yeah, very, very good results to start with. Then in the withdrawing phase, a little bit suffering too much and maybe a little bit too aggressive on our naval invasion. Just a little bit too hopeful that we would destroy them anyway at the same time. And we are suffering for that. But again, if, if we are able to build this up in the next two weeks, we should be fine. Uh, logistics Company 2, 3 is certainly appreciated, uh, although I do think the next thing that we do need is, in terms of industry, the excavation technology, because that will allow us to build up some more steel, and that I do think is extremely important for us. Good. As soon as this is done over here, Actually, can we build, rebuild the Hawaii? No, we cannot. Okay, fine, fine, don't need to. Can we actually build an airfield over here? That would be interesting. Construction, airbase, no, we don't control enough of the area. Sort of suspected that, but that's fine. Free military factories. Uh, I do think we need still potentially more, no. Okay, well, still 18 being stockpiled is a little bit too little to me, for me. Aircraft will soon be producing a new type, so we don't actually need to consider that too much. Yeah, but I think then we can go and produce more traditional weapons, and that should also be okay. Two more weeks till we get new supplies in here. And that will be extremely appreciated. Hawaiian Ridge, yes, we know. Naval Combat, here. A lot of convoys. That's good to see. Of course, not good to see the convoys. Good to see that we will be attacking that. So, Germany being a giant, that's okay. You should actually be fairly close to surrendering. Is this a victory point province? I don't know. Let's try to get over there anyway. Yeah, our land forces really don't seem to be up to speed really anymore. Especially up here. It seems a little bit frustrating that you're incapable of taking their their capital. Let's be a little bit more aggressive. I think I think we'll be fine over there. Good. So, two weeks gone. One week, probably. You're extremely low on organization now. As we would sort of expect. And we are being attacked again. And as long as we are not winning these fights, we cannot construct over there. Now we should be able to construct 18, so 8 more days. It's gonna be extremely tough. So this battle has concluded just two sunk. It's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, um, by the way, how are we doing on the repair stuff? So yeah, potentially a month out of action for some of our battleships and some of our heavy cruisers. That's significant damage. On the other hand, that also does tell us that at the very least, the first heavy scout force seems to be up to speed again. Uh, ah, last you really aren't. I'm not sure why I didn't catch these guys first. So yeah, but still, these things are just a matter of a couple of days. So yeah, it's light damage all across the board. And we did, it was a very good win. Let's, let's look at that on the naval side here again. Just, just devastating. That was over the current months, so that's last month. 28 light hulls. Three cruisers, three carriers, a couple of convoys, and six battleships. West Virginia, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Colorado, Arizona, and Tennessee. Six more days, come on. Uh, we do have some unassigned divisions. That's okay, we don't need to confirm that now. We are doing some attacks over here. 
And can you please, please, please capture there? Even if it's just temporary. Capital. I really would have expected us to do a little bit better over there. Three more days and we are pretty much low on organization all the way. We might actually lose that. This is so annoying. Average organization just 6%. Right now we do get a new technology. And we can do infiltration. Recon company, reconnaissance, reinforcements raid. You know what? We are going to do that. And I really, really hope... 4%. If the Americans attack now, we'll immediately collapse. But there we go. There's our naval base. Now I just need to, you to reinforce. And you, you are reinforcing, so... That is extremely good for us. So what I actually want to do then is... Delete the attack on this island, because we in fact do already have it. And that means we can pick... You. You, I think. Yes. And get you over here just by a boat. That's fine. Good. And your job is going to be to... Okay, that's looking weird, but it's okay. Your job is going to be that attack pattern. Good. Ah! This is brilliant. I love it. So we are now regaining organization and potentially some of our material. So that's extremely good for us. We will be able to conduct a strike over there. Lovely. Very, very good. And you know what? In fact, you guys can be part of this as well. Good. Ha! Very happy about that result. You know what else we could do? Is we could take our tactical bombers and actually ask them to do some strategic bombing of what? I can define the targets for that, can I? Yeah, I can. Of airfields. There we go. So we know that the Americans do have some airfields over there, and they have been pestering us from these airfields. So that should hopefully be okay. Very good. That does mean the Americans will probably be trying to reinforce that position. But I think we are going to be alright over there. I mean, we did lose in, in our failed invasion of Honolulu. But again, just sinking that many American ships is, is a very good result for me. Sivet Samal has capitulated. And I would actually like to give that territory to, to Manchukau, uh, if at all possible. Can I do that? Actually, so let's ask them to give control of a state. How can I do that with any state? Probably not East Hibai, can I? This is not sorted by anything, or just by the order that I... Okay, I'll need to do that between episodes, I think. So... How many ships do the Americans have? As far as we know, about 60, 70 ships. And that might include some light ships. The British, 200 ships left. So, we are still not there. We still need to be very careful about what we're doing. Uh, but all in all, I'm pretty happy about these results. I'm, I'm very happy about our torpedo ships. I'm very happy about the upgrade that we got on our light cruisers. So, yeah. Looking forward to employing more of these, and I think we'll probably be shifting our forces over here, uh, or be even more aggressive against Pearl Harbor, but then again, uh, their airfield up here has been pestering us for... <laughs> with so much damage, actually, so, so we'll have to see. Uh, and, of course, we are going to try and take on Honolulu now from this island up over here, so that we can do a uh, strike that way. That being said... Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.